Disclaimer. Cara mia, mi amor. Good evening, ladies, lazas and lazas. Welcome to the click. Do you like dating and the romances and the stuff that comes along with it? Oh yes, indeed you do. Because today we are going to look into when dating goes wrong or crazy exes for that part. Any kind of relationship story that has gone a little bit bonkers, and we can look back on together and haha about enjoy. Mwah. So maybe I can mark this video as educational. It's like what not to do to to have successful <laughs> relationships. And if you've watched enough of it, you just checked off every bad thing you can possibly do. <laughs> Heck yeah. Reply to your story. You should let me come over. I'll make you feel like it's our real first time. Uh, didn't you cheat on me with your coworker? Okay, I thought you were over that. Oh, how could you not be over that? Who's being childish now? Oh, this coost hang. I love the deflection. It's like, I'm sorry, you are too immature to let this go. <laughs> I would bury, as in, as in bury something underground, but bury apparently. I would bury my personal stuff so far, blah, 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 that the one to pull it out would be crowned King Arthur. Sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> is this... Is this your opening line? Have you ever been outside? You know, maybe you should start practicing by touching grass. You know, that's a good start before testing on humans. Those who have walked out on a first date, what was your I'm out of here moment? He spoke in baby talk. We were in our 30s. I just couldn't. Oh my god, look at that. Who's coming through the door? Oh, is it my big date? My big date is looking very good to them. No. No. Hashtag worst first date I ever had was going to an Applebee's because he had a BOGO coupon. My fish was still frozen when it came out and he asked me to pay since he brought the coupon. <laughs> you know, it's just effective. It's two birds with one stone, or if you will, two birds with one coupon. <laughs> <laughs> I've been with dozens and dozens of women and not a single one enjoyed it. It is biologically impossible for women to enjoy themselves, you know, intimately. I don't know why y'all just be lying on this app for no reason. <laughs> Uh, waterboarding couldn't have uh, gotten this out of me. Why would you tweet this? No one has ever enjoyed spending time with me. So, so it must be everyone else that is broken. I am the perfect partner. You see, when it smells like poo everywhere, maybe it's time to check the bottom of your shoe there. Or maybe you're just made of poo. That seems to be the case. My mom invited a guy over and we were walking up to meet him. And he started running away and sent her this. Lemao, are men okay? Um, where did you go? Uh, I can't do this. I saw your daughter and wanted to be with her instead. Uh, sorry, this is weird for me. I have to go. My fault, I am weird. Not you. What on earth? What? What the heck? Could you imagine this? You just see your date like, oh, there's my family and just turn around and book it. And it's like, oh my god, what happened? Are they allergic to bees or something? Was there a bee? And you get this text message? Out of all the things, man. Out of all the things. Uh, at least he was honest about it, I guess. Um, I think I would prefer being lied to. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. I think so. I think I think this is the kind of time when lying is probably good, right? It's like, nah, I uh, I was I, I had violent diarrhea. Yeah, that's perfect. I mean, hopefully it means that he's self-aware enough so he actually like works on it. But like, damn. This dude at the bar trying to pick up my friend with his Wells Fargo account. What the frick? You really think that that is gonna impress me? No, bruh, uh, bruh, no. 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 Oh. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Hey, hey there, girl at the bar. You want to see my bank account? <laughs> Come on, bruh. Am I the bot for telling my fiancé I am not willing to lie about how we met to her family and friends? I met my fiancé online on a dating app. We have been together for two years now and got engaged recently. However, she keeps telling me that during the wedding she wants me to give a speech talking about how I met her while she was working at a coffee shop and I was so attracted to her that it was love at first sight and I immediately asked her to be my girlfriend. Like what, without previous conversation? You there, barista! Will you marry me? That's not that's not really how it works outside of like really sketchy movies. She says that this makes her look better and will make her look good to her friends. If I can say that she was so beautiful, I immediately asked her out. What other what kind of insecurity stuff is this? Is the wedding just to like gloat at your friends? What is this? To clarify, she is saying I have to say that I asked her to be my girlfriend right at the counter without even having any sort of conversation with her first. Yeah, like 
the holes in the story is like Swiss cheese. What? What? <laughs> is this what you're gonna try to sell at the wedding? The only problem is I feel very uncomfortable with this untrue version of events. I am happy to say she is beautiful and that I really love her personality and that we have a great connection. But I am uncomfortable with this portrayal of myself as some sort of creep who asked a complete stranger to be my girlfriend. Yeah, she wants you to be like a super simp. That's basically what she wants you to do. This is really strange. For someone that you don't even know. It's like, oh, hey stranger, I'm gonna I'm 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 marry you. What? There are other lies that she wants me to go along with, too. For example, I inherited a house from my grandparents, but she is asking me to tell all her friends and family that I myself paid for and bought her the house because she is so special. <laughs> Wait a second. So she wants you to roleplay as like some super rich Elon Musk kind of, kind of guy who just goes into this coffee shop and be like, You there, barista. You are the most beautiful creature I've ever seen. I'm gonna buy your house and marry you right now. I, we haven't even spoken yet, but that's the case. And then you just agree with it to this random maniac who goes into your coffee shop and be like, You! Female! Marry me and here's a house! Th this isn't believable. From any perspective, fam. What are you on about? After I said no, reasonable response, she has been saying that I care more about the opinions of other people than how she feels. No, but this is- that's- that's a projection if I've ever seen one. What the hell, man? Oh my god, you won't lie to everyone at the wedding about how we met to make me look good? Oh, you care too much about what people think. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? And that she is reconsidering if she wants to be with someone who isn't on her side. Well, this isn't really being on a side. This is like trying to build up a fantasy for- for, I don't know, not even your own sake. Do I have a point or does she? No, she- she's definitely a little out there. Just to be clear, my fiancé said that the reason she wants me to do the speech and tell people I bought her a house is so that her friends will envy her. Okay, so who's the one caring about other people's opinion now? Just- just focus on having a nice wedding. Why do you care about this? She has already told her friends and family those things, but it's another thing to want me to actually talk about them and lie about these things. She know that my friends and family know I inherited a house and that we met on a dating app. But- but- <laughs> But she says I have to warn them not to say anything and pretend to believe me at the wedding. So she wants to spin this giant conspiracy to hide the fact you met on a dating app and that you were lucky enough to inherit a house instead that he bought it for you by, I don't know, selling five kidneys. Don't ask where they came from. This, this is wild. It's become a conspiracy. She gave me an ultimatum that we won't get married if I don't agree and hasn't talked to me for days. It looks like I'm not the butthole based on responses. How can I get her to see the light? Um, my dude, run. Run really fast, run. Thank you, run. Her. If you don't lie about us in order to make my friends envious, then there won't be a wedding. Him. Okay, I accept your terms. How does she not see how hypocritical it is for her to be like you care about people's opinions when she's making her fiancé lie because she cares about people's opinions? Not only cares about people's opinions, but is desperate to like lie to her friends and family to somehow look better. It's so weird. It is so weird. First date at a restaurant when he tells me I should know some things about him because he really likes me. Discloses he's recently released from prison for doing bad stuff to two three-year-old girls. But no problem because he, having been a medic in the military since castrated himself. I ran out. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff to unpack here. It's like the the stuff he used to do before and then the self-castration and the... Does he have like a basement that looks like one of those Dexter laboratories? This, uh, no, run. Run really fast. Hashtag worst first date. He brought his parents. He was 25. <laughs> If that's not bad enough, halfway through the meal, his mom asked me if I was going to finish mine while taking tin foil out of her bag to wrap up my food for her to take home. <laughs> it's not of that kind of thing when your date shows up with a friend and they're both expecting for free meal. They show up with their family and they won't even let you eat your own meal. It's like, are you gonna really eat all of that? Mm, you look kind of fat, Courtney. Let me just wrap that up for me and bring it home. Good luck on your dating. Bye. This is absolutely unhinged. What is the weirdest first date you ever had? Hashtag worst date ever. A girl that believed my deafness was an STD and accused me of trying to infect her. <laughs> oh my God, you're, you're lucky that stupidity isn't, uh, isn't infectious. Otherwise, uh, otherwise I think you could have been a bit uh, victimized there. Hey there, Smexy. Um, hi. Your smexy. Uh, what about my smexy? It left, went home, ever since you decided to be a little bitch. I know the difference between your and you.
hour. This is freaking grinder, not a spelling bee central. That's one way to put the apostrophe there. You hour. I have never seen that before in my life. You know, you know your grammar is bad when you make up things that don't exist to get the grammar wrong. That is astounding. Congratulations. I never thought I would see something like this. I am astounded. Hashtag worst first date. He picked me up to go see a movie. I picked a movie. We arrived and he found out it was rated R. He freaked out and told me he had to call his mom. And in my mind, I'd be like, uh, you for real, dude? Mom said no. <laughs> date ended. <laughs> Wait, how, how old were you? This sh I have never heard of this. You know, it's a promising dating experience when the dude has to call his mom to ask for permission to do various things during the date. That This is pretty wild. Hashtag worst first date. He stood very erect and wore a fake muscle chest like Batman costume under his clothes to look fit. I really thought he was. Next time I saw him, he forgot to wear it and had a big belly. He also opened his eyes real wide like this when trying to make a point when talking. <laughs> do you know? Do you know that the moon is made of butt? Do people actually wear muscle shirts to the first date? That is wild. He put his phone down on the table and it was covered in tape. When I asked why his phone is taped up, he said because the government is always listening. <laughs> Hashtag worst first dates. <laughs> well, the good thing is that it's honest from the get-go at least, so you kind of know what you're getting into, so you can kind of like, I don't know, run away. <laughs> you know? The government is always listening. If it was such an overarching, intelligent, like, groundbreaking conspiracy, do you really think tape would stop it? Wanna smash? Wanna smash? My apologies, that was my friend who took my phone. Oh my god, stare emojis. I accidentally covering eyes half sent thou a picture of mine phallus uh, eggplant. Prithee, delete it, XX, <laughs> lest thou desire to look. <laughs> I just delete it. Should thee crave? <laughs> Nay, banish it. <laughs> Last. He has a way with words. Kill the It says, I'm sorry! No! Did you block your ex and they try to send you messages by changing their profile on your shared Netflix? I am shabby. At least it didn't change all the names. It's like, I am sorry. Please take me back. Thank you. I love you. Just like a whole family subscription. Just change all the names. Isn't that just beautiful? It's even more cringe if you're even more people sharing this. Imagine your mom just seeing this like, I'm shawi. <laughs> this is so bad, man. Hashtag worst first dates. On the way to the movies, we talked about being artistic. And I told him I paint with acrylics. He told me he painted with blood and was excited to try mine because it would be a different red than his. Major red flags on that one. Maybe he just wanted to paint some red flags with you. That's cute. Hey, honey, this flag is red because it's painted with my blood. Wow, how fascinating. Please don't tell me more. My ex and I once got into an argument because he insisted that everyone gets their period at the end of the month and I told him that's not true. This is why I can't talk about feminism with you, he said. <laughs> Blatantly getting a super basic biological fact wrong is not being able to talk about feminism. I mean, you don't only misunderstand women biology, but you also don't know what the word feminism means. This is amazing on multiple levels. He ordered the spiciest item on the menu because he could handle it. And then sweat poured off every part of his body, dripped down the tip of his nose and onto his dinner plate. All evening. Hashtag worst first dates. I feel kind of bad for the dude. But why would you do this? This is not the way to show off to your date. Hey, look, I'm an alpha masculine male. I'm gonna order this like out of freaking oh, jalapeno soup and then just sweat like an absolute shower handle for the rest of the evening. <laughs> Oh my god! This would be funny further along in the relationship if you were both into spicy food, for example. And you were like, oh gee, let's have a chili eating contest and you're both sweating and laughing and being silly at home. So you can also drink milk when you need to or like go into the shower. But, but for the first date, maybe not. Those who have walked out on first dates, what was your I am out of here moment? Great chats online, decided to meet in person. He's got a Bluetooth headset with a little LED light that shows it's on. He keeps it on during drinks. I work up the nerve to ask if he can take the headset off while we're eating dinner. With pride and complete confidence, he says, Oh, don't worry, you have my full attention. This isn't a phone headset, it's a camera. Bruh, you go on dates with the inverse of a VR set. You go on dates with a GoPro. 
What? This is the what? Well, let's see if your little camera keeps up with how fast I run out of this date. Yeah, yeet. Yes, just so I can reminisce about our date after we go home. Great. Picture 21. Dog lover. Looking for a hookup? In a happy relationship, just want to try something else before I confirm my current purchase. Okay, there is a lot to unpack here. Does your partner know that you're out doing this? Is this some kind of polyamorous experimentation? Secondly, why do you refer to your romantic partner as a purchase? That's a slight bit of objectifying, isn't it? No, you could have just call it decision. Even if the rest of it wasn't, like, bad enough already. This is, uh, nah, pass. Very pass. You know how there are super likes? There should be super dislikes. That, like, bands' profiles that are similar have the same keywords. That'd be amazing. Oh, look at this cozy date having some... Having... Ha... 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 Having s... What... 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 what, what I, I am confused and scared. I am never going outdoors ever again. Thank you. Next. Hashtag worst first date I had was when my date picked a barbecue restaurant for dinner, ordered a large bowl of sauce, and ate it with a spoon. Like soup. Just the sauce. I finished my sandwich and left. Wait, he just ordered, like, ranch dressing? And just... <laughs> Man, what a chad! Replace teacher with new GF and it will fit this sub. I took a psychology of gender class, and this ex-marine, with no contest, went on a rant and said, oh, In the marines we would play gay chicken, but that doesn't make me gay. Uh, what? We would do gay things until one guy chickened out. Um, I munched uh, someone else's private sausage at one point. Uh, I ain't gay. <laughs> Can't a lactose intolerant man just walk down the milk aisle and just, you know, look at the goods? Hmm? Is that- Hmm? Those who have walked out on first dates, what was your I am out of here moment? He was 45 minutes late picking me up. Weather was quite poor, so I gave him a pass. Get to the coffee shop, take off my jacket, and immediately he says, Ah, I see you brought your A-game. Or should I say, D-game? Referring to my breasts. I am surprisingly busty for my frame. Even the people two tables over just stopped and looked at him. You see, this is something they do in, like, the Big Bang Theory. This doesn't mean that it's something you should do IRL, especially on the first date. Haha, <laughs> look, it's my breast friends. <laughs> Why is nobody laughing? When I was studying abroad, my roommate set me up on a date. He decided to go to the cinema, and when I met him, he kept touching his neck and looking at his watch. I thought, God, he must be bored already. He kept doing this the whole way through the film, so when we came out of the film, I just straight out asked him what the deal was with the watch checking. He told me he would be checking his pulse to see how aroused I was making him to see if he was attracted to me. <laughs> oh! But wait! He then handed me a note with a list of reasons why he liked me, including You make my heart beat on average 130 BPM when I'm around you, Jenna. Oh, great. I mean, this could be a very quirky thing to, like, tell your partner when you're in a relationship. It's like, hey there, girl, we both work with, like, statistical math or something, and I have made this spreadsheet about how my pulse is higher on average when I'm with you because I love you. That is kind of sweet. Like, in the right context, I can see this being, like, a quirky, funny thing, right? Not like this. Not like this. You're onto something, but not here. Boyfriend says things like groovy and cool beans during adult time, and it turns me off. <laughs> hey there, honey, I'm home. I got this little special something. <laughs> groovy. <laughs> cool beans. Oh, God. This is like shooting yourself in the foot with like a full-size cannon. I really don't want to complain because my boyfriend is a sweet and amazing guy. Everything but our relationship and intimacy is perfect. But he keeps saying things like groovy during the naughty times. The timing is absolutely awful too because he often says those things when it's coming to his zenith. <laughs> Last time, <laughs> he said, oh, groovy. I can't read this on YouTube. <laughs> Looking good tonight, cool beats. <laughs> Groovy. <laughs> oh my God, I can't. I can't. Ah, <sighs> miss it. It's so fun. I miss outdoors though. Haha. <laughs> ah, so do I. I haven't played him forever. Aubrey, do you want to hang out when I'm back? Sure, let's grab coffee. I would like that. I also wanted to tell you something. Now that I'm not your coach, I think you're pretty attractive. Ah, uh, never mind. Haha. <laughs>
It was just a prank, bro. I've been to a lot of cool places. I want to see Germany so bad. Is there a reason for Germany or just somewhere you've always wanted to go? I would like to backpack across all of Europe one day, after I win the lottery, winky emoji. I just did not see enthusiast, really. Why do you drop that so casually in a conversation? Lol, my name is also heavily German, like, without a car? <laughs> that would be exciting and dangerous, I like your style. Wait, uh, a Nazi enthusiast? That, that's, that, that's, yeah, nah. And I can also tell you this much, German people aren't super keen on, like, tossing around the Nazi stuff, you know? You're not gonna be particularly well received, if I put it that way. You are not only completely out there with your opinions, you're also kind of delusional and know nothing about the world. Cease, good sir. You probably shouldn't be on a dating app. You want to know if there's a universe out there, a parallel universe, in which you and your girlfriend exist, but she does not oh. break up with you. Yes, please. Okay. So it turns out, general relativity and quantum physics, as applied to the early universe, tells us that it is possible, maybe even likely, that multiple universes are spawned, mm -hmm. possibly even an infinite number of them. Mm -hmm. And if that's the case, that means all combinations of molecules and events will take place. So that means we could surely find a universe where both you and your girlfriend exist and she does not break up with you. Mm, Tyson Wyson. Maybe one day in the future we can have wormholes that tunnel between universes and we can send you there. Or you could just stop being a dick in this universe and maybe she wouldn't have broken up with you in the first place. <laughs> Oof. This feels like it could be the plot of some kind of bad, like, 80s romance movies. Oh my god, she dumped me, everything is over. But if we just wormhole to the other dimension, where we're still together and I just kill myself there, I can have her back. I isn't this like the plot of Rick and Morty, like, multiple times? <laughs> I feel like this is just Rick and Morty, but like, romance. I had dinner at his place in which he served me wild venison from his freezer, and then tried to French kiss me with a mouthful of said venison. Then he got naked and peed outside. This guy was a teacher at my former high school. <laughs> oh no. I mean, to be honest, wild meat can be really tasty if it's prepared well. So like, that part can actually be classy. I'm not sure if like, kissing you with a mouthful of food is, is the most romantic part, nor like, hey! Honey, I'm going out to pee and just take off your pants and go out. That's also a little bit, uh, I don't know, I don't know, not the kind of first date impressions you want to give, perhaps. Hashtag worst first date. Picked me up, got dinner, had good combo, took me to an adult club. Watch him get drunk and touch a stripper's butt and <laughs> talk about how hot she was while I was sitting there bone sober having to fight off old men from swarming me while he enjoyed the stripper. <laughs> I swear to God, some people are like so unaware or they just don't care. This is absolutely amazing. I couldn't imagine this in a billion years. And secondly, I have to buy my condoms from overseas online to get a size that fits. You can only legally buy up to 57 millimeters in the USA, but you can get up to 69 millimeters in Europe, so I have to buy the 69 millimeter one. Very, very good. Here are German engineered... Okay, great. Uh, I have to admit I'm a little sad, Isabella. I poured my heart out into my messages and you to no avail. This is you pouring your heart out? What does it look like when you're not pouring your heart out? Th th this is you at your, like, softest, most loving self? Okay. Do you no longer believe in love or romance and the power of true connection? Well, if I've learned anything from this video, is that romance is not only dead, we pissed on its grave. I really am insanely intelligent. This is a fever dream. People are jealous of me because I really am special. Not many people are like me. That's what my therapists keep trying to tell me. You go to your therapist and they tell you, Oh my god, Steve, the world doesn't realize how freaking smart you are. You need to tell people on Tinder that you're a genius. That sounds like something a therapist would say, right? My second longest relationship was, no lie, with a man who had his own name tattooed across his back like a jersey, but in monster energy drink font. And now he has a wife, a cat, and a baby named Connor. Yeah, that seems like someone who would name their kid Connor. That is very accurate. R slash ask reddit. Girls, what are some things a guy does on a first date that kills it? I had a guy try to make me lie on him and tell him girls don't poop because it ruined his time down there. <laughs> hey Courtney, please, please, can you just tell me that girls don't poop? It's just rainbows and glitter, right? And perfume. 
What was your I am out of here moment at a first date? It seemed to be going all right for a while. We met late afternoon and went for a stroll around town doing a little bit of a pub crawl with a drink at each, followed by some food at a monthly food truck festival I knew about, which was going to be followed by a local bar and dancing. I kept seeing the same guy at all the locations, obviously following us. On a toilet break, I mentioned something to one of the pub doormen who asked him to leave politely, although that got a little heated. She ran over to the doorman and explained that it was her husband? They had a thing of watching each other go out with someone and maybe watching them do naughty stuff. I did drop in a question if they had ever done more like stealing from someone and she accidentally said it had happened, <laughs> but only a couple of times before trying to say that she didn't mean that. I left them with the doorman and reported them to the police. I mean, not to mention uh, the stealing and, and the other illegal aspects to this, but if a kink involves a third party that has not consented to it, I think kink shaming is pretty valid. Not gonna lie. Next post, please. The most petty thing you've taken from your ex after y'all break up. I'll go first. Oh, this is easy. His eyebrows. I took his motherfucking eyebrows. What? Because the whole time we was together, because naturally I was not born with eyebrows. Okay. They're real thin. But that I was born this way. So I waited good ready till I knew I was leaving. Waited until he was asleep. Took some nair, wiped it on his eyebrows, and then rinsed it off. When I was gone, so was his motherfucking eyebrows. It was his eyebrows for me. Well, this video certainly features some things I never thought I would hear. It's some kind of bucket list thing. I will feel very fulfilled when I am an old man. Hey, Isabel, <laughs> my friend has a Chinese girlfriend, so I know about your culture or whatever. So maybe I could make some shrimp fried rice and then show you my shrimp. Winky emoji. I am screaming. This has to be the worst thing anyone has ever messaged me. Lemma Fow. That is so bad. Th is this really? Is this really how you? Oh, okay. Okay, great. Great. Thank you. Next. A girls of Reddit, one of the most common reasons behind why guys didn't make it past a first date with you. Excessive nerves and being unable to get past it. Had a guy who wouldn't eat dinner because he was so nervous he couldn't touch his food. He also repeated, oh, we're, we're having a really great time, about a dozen times in the first hour, saying we need to go out again. In the end, he brought me home and told me he was going to stay out for a few more hours so his roommates would think he got laid. That is so insecure. I mean, the part about eating food could be anxiety as well. I personally don't like eating if I'm nervous, but you know, you could also just plan a different date that doesn't involve specifically food. You can have drinks or like some nice walks in parks or some other activity or bowling or whatever. So I don't know, there are ways around that, but, but the last part, nah, nah, that just screams a level of mental maturity that I, I don't think most people are interested in. Was out on a date with a guy who said he had no money and borrowed $10 to buy a drink at a convenience store. Came back with a scratch off, won $60 and took me home since I wouldn't go to the strip club with his winnings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy would get along great with that other guy who took the girl to a strip club after they had their dinner and that kind of stuff. You know why didn't those two just go out together? They seem, they seem to be on the right wavelength, right? God. On a first date, what was your I am out of here moment? Went to meet a guy for the first time at his house. There was a pile of toenail clippings on his coffee table. And it wasn't one recent clipping, it was like many, many clippings. Out the door I went. You know, if, if someone just forgets to clean for the day, or you know, oh gee, I did some stuff in the bathroom and I forgot to pick it up or something just that day, that's one thing. But why are you saving toenail clippings? This isn't the quirky collection thing. This isn't stamps or Pokemon cards. This is, uh, this is bad. My, F26, boyfriend, 32, isn't allowing me to read books because he feels like I'm cheating on him. I really love reading books. It's therapeutic to me and I feel calm and at peace when I get to read books. There have been many times I've read books which are romance-themed. My boyfriend says I'm cheating on him because these books have naughty scenes written and I'm not supposed to read them because people picture the scenes in the book and it means I will picture another man doing stuff with me. I never purposely bought a book because I wanted to, you know, do the dirty stuff. But I don't want to stop reading books like that. Is there something I could do about it? I mean, you know, a library is usually not considered an orgy, if, if I start off with that. But also, <laughs> in some relationships, you know, for example, people are uncomfortable with the other one watching adult films. And they consider it cheating because it's something a standard you set in the relationship, right? Cheating is usually when you do something that you have agreed to not do. You know, it's different for every relationship. But in this case, I don't think I've ever heard of anyone being upset that the other person is reading a book. Um, that is... Uh, 
that's a little bit wild. I'm not sure why, why this standard is, is set there. You should probably talk about it, and if that doesn't work and you want to keep reading, the relationship is probably not meant to be. Just gonna be honest. I have never, ever read anything about, like, oh, I don't want my partner to read. <laughs> There is a first for everything. We were walking hand in hand through downtown when he stopped to adjust his sock. Then he pulled it out and it was black toe fungus. Rubbed at it and then went back to grab my hand. Uh, no? <sighs> oh. Better than my morning so far. I decided to try to run my usual walk with West and ended up twisting my ankle. <laughs> Embarrassingly, this is not my first running related injury. I think the universe has made it clear I need to stick to walking. Damn, that's tough. Throw in some ice on that thing, I swear I roll my ankle like every other week, lol. I ran over a cat this morning. Straight murdered the poor guy. It was so sad. Both our mornings took us by surprise, ha ha ha. You know that quirky story about when I splashed the neighbor's pet? Yeah, that's an icebreaker. More like a... No, a cat breaker, moving on. And they say romance is dead. It certainly is, you got run over by a car. Next! Those who have walked out on first dates, what was your I am out of here moment? He invited me and a friend to play dodgeball with a group of folks I have never met. We're having an okay time, he's paying more attention to his friends, but that's fine because I've got my own friend to keep me occupied. We're hanging out in the parking lot before the first game is about to start, when out of nowhere he grabs a ball and throws it at my crotch as hard as he can. This mother fricker screams, WHAM BAM RUN THE CLAM! I immediately turn my head and ask my friend if she is ready to leave. I said goodbye to him and his friends. Immediately come home to a grip of text about how immature I was behaving. What is this? Is this a freaking dating service for 10 year olds? <laughs> bam, bam, right in the clam. He's got, a, he's got a way with words. Maybe it's a service because out of contrast, every single date you have after this point, we look pretty good. My 28F husband, 32M, invited a stripper to have a threesome without discussing it with me. On our wedding night? Where do I go from here? Out! You go out! And really fast and really far! In my years, I have heard of some wild, questionable bachelor parties. Right? That's, that's a bit of a weird traditional thing. But, but like, <laughs> a stripper on the wedding night? Are you- Oh my god! No! No! There are so many things in this video I have actually never heard of before. It's like these wild stories that I didn't think could be true. But here we are. Hashtag worst date ever. At her house, I asked if I could have a pair of her dirty underwear to bring home and, uh, save her. The next day, she told me they were her grandma's. The world is not. You wrote this about yourself. As if this would make you look good, like, oh. I asked this girl about this thing that is like super stereotypically creepy and 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 she pranked me. Ah. They need to so publicly brag about it, okay. Okay. Uh, hey, I just wanted to apologize for ghosting you. I honestly just thought your personality was low-key obnoxious, but I've like hooking up with other girls and I realized I've never found another girl who can do things like you do. Uh, it is really good. Are you being serious right now? Yeah. Oh my freaking god! Oh, that's very nice. Hey there, your personality sucks, but I like that thing we did one night. Can we meet again? And you say it straight up. You know, not having filters is one thing, but this is like some kind of reverse of a filter. It like enhances the bad stuff. You know, it's wild. See, this is an educated crazy ex. She didn't break anything, just made it super annoying to get inside the car. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is like a bad prank. Started asking my hinge matches their most controversial opinion to save time. Let's see, and I'm gonna pause this, liked your photo. What's your most controversial opinion? Intelligence is genetic, from both parents or one. Race-based, I mean, oof, this is a great thing to bring to the first, well, it's not even a first date. It's like before the first date, bruh. Brett invited you to start the chat. What's your most controversial opinion? Eventually, socialism will ruin this country. <laughs> Can't you just do like something funny? It's like, oh, there are so many people that believe the moon landing is fake. I actually don't believe the moon is real. Just like spice it up, show that you're funny, not whatever this is. What's your most controversial opinion? Yes, no, I am kidding. I hope this doesn't make you hate me, but men and women are never going to be equal. Wow, amazing. It's simply biology. Socially, yes, we can be equal, but physically, no. I mean, are you... Dear, dear God, man, dear God. 
I mean, I've seen women beat men in arm wrestling, is that what you mean? If you want to talk about, like, some some big average, maybe. But, like, but like individuality, and, like, bell curves, and, like, what? Whew, it's getting hot in here. What's your most controversial opinion? Chivalry. Pro or against? Against. It's not even- it's not even an important opinion! Why are you doing this to yourself? The good thing about this video is that we all get to feel like social masterminds compared to these people. It's amazing. What's your most controversial opinion? That I don't care at all about the vaccine. <laughs> don't care or don't care to get it. I guess don't care to get it. But I guess I just don't think it's a huge deal in general. <laughs> You see? Great things to bring into a first date. Might as well bring up the flat earth stuff. What's your most controversial opinion? Bullying is good for the country. Shrug! I must say though, it's an amazing life hack. This just really weeds out all the weird stuff so fast. I love this. And they say romance is dead. <laughs> it most certainly is. I had a date last night. It went really, really well. However, she believes the Earth is flat, unironically. She also believes the universe is geocentric and that the sun and moon are the same size. Obviously, if you look up into the sky, they're the same size, you know? Oh, obviously, you see, my hands are, are differently sized. You see, this one is like three times as big as this one. It, it absolutely astounding, you know? How could this be? Uh, uh, it's a unique thing. Dating has been terrible for me recently. I know how hard it can be to find someone you get along with well. So, where do I go from here? Bro, I'm gonna be honest with you. You know you're down bad when you're considering, like, giving up all the reason in your life to just find a date. Please don't stoop that low. Your dating life is not supposed to fall this flat. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> Oh baby, I'm not geocentric, I'm uocentric because you're the center of my universe. Bam! Nailed it. You are cute and all, and I would like to get to know you, but you have been vaccinated, and I haven't, so I probably wouldn't end up kissing you after a date. Because you don't want vaccinated germs? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what they put in those things or the long-term risks. I mean, I got plenty of them in the past, but I'm holding off on this one. I'm playing it extra safe, lol, if that makes sense. Would still have naughties with someone who's vaccinated, but of course protected. I need to know if this is satire or not. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. This is like the whole cooties thing, but, <laughs> but with vaccines. Oh my god. Why did you leave WrestleMania on for the cats? They need to learn to protect us. Is my boyfriend broken? No, 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 this is this is just being being a dad. This is dad points 101. What is on your mind? Watching a Dahmer on Netflix and realizing I don't think anything was wrong with him. Um, what what do you mean? I think he had a kink that he was trying to fulfill. I don't think he was killing for pleasure. I don't think we watched the same documentary. Are you sure? And you didn't watch like Teletubbies or something? Gee, this is perfectly normal apart from that horrifying baby in the sky. Nice. Lol, my ex I haven't seen in two plus years sent me a pee pee pic. And then got mad at me when I didn't want to send anything back and said I was really turning him off. <laughs> you see, it's your fault now. Oh, how convenient the projection game is. My 24M husband, 25M, turned me into a vampire. How do I reverse it? So we've been married for two years and he suddenly revealed to me he's a vampire and bit now. As a result, I crave blood and can't be in light or in the shower. How do I convince him to reverse it? Well, I think you're a little bit too old to, to roleplay these kind of things. Honestly, this this just feels like, you know, a vampire's diary, kind of, but like a LARP. Is this just a LARP? I feel like the fact that my ex-wife has set a picture of herself as the wallpaper on her phone helps explain why we got divorced. <laughs> I usually have, like, a cool place you visited, your dog, or your child, your significant other. Maybe a picture of yourself with your significant other or family, but, but no, it's just a picture of yourself. It's just a selfie of you. Yeah, that's weird. It's like having pictures of your own face on the wall in your house. Only weird people would do that. Yes, in the next meme, please. As time goes on, and I get older, the fact that one of my ex-girlfriends pooped on the hood of my car when I was younger still never gets old. Makes me wonder if I was the only dude that received that poopy treatment. Have a great day, everyone! Hashtag crazy ex. <laughs> Why would you do this? It feels so unhygienic. Even if you want to get back at someone, isn't this like tedious for yourself? You know, you have to really go there, be naked in public, poop while standing on top of a car. I mean, what if you slip and land in it? Like even if you take the, that you're poopy to someone else out of the equation, I still wouldn't do this. So here is the cozy little date couch, and if you open the closet, they're just a magic urinal. This feels like the ultimate super improvised man cave. 
not gonna lie. I don't think it's hygienic, though. I think that wood is gonna suck up some gross stuff over the years, but, uh, GG's. What's the worst first date I've ever been on? Mm -hmm. I'm so glad you asked. I'm gonna tell you right now. Oh, thank you. Before I met my smoke show of a husband, I was on dating apps. As you do. This man messages me out of the blue and he goes, I like your face. Let's go get some food. Um, I love food. Are you my soulmate? He says, meet me at my house. I will drive us to the restaurant together. Why did we not just meet there? I have no idea. That's a bit I weird. I drive 45 minutes to his house. He's standing outside of it. He walks up to my car and he goes, I've lost my keys. Can you drive us there? Should I have okay. just left him right there and gone home? Yes. Did I? Absolutely not. <laughs> He gets in, well, starts giving me turn-by-turn turn directions. He could have been leading me to an abandoned warehouse and he still would have been like, left at this stop sign? Okay. We end up at a Taco Bell, which is fine. I'm like, dine in or drive through? And he's like, drive through. And I'm like, great, he has a plan. We get to the speaker and he just leans over and goes, I would like 100 hard shell tacos. Thank you. Wh Why? Why though? We get to the window. He does one of these numbers. I'm like, did you forget your wallet? He's like, yeah. I was like, do you need me to pay? He's like, oh. yeah. I'm like, yeah. oh. I buy the 100 tacos and I'm like, where to next? And he goes back to my house. And I was like, okay, this is happening. I'm just, I'm committed to this now. It's happening. We get to his house, we walk in, his dad is on the couch. I'm like, he lives with his dad. It's fine. The hoops I am teleporting through to convince myself that this decision that I have made is okay. It's yeah. just wild. <laughs> Walk past his dad into the kitchen. He just starts emptying the boxes of tacos, just releasing them onto the table, puts two chairs at the table, sits down, and he just screams at the top of his lungs, let's feast. <laughs> I am just calmly <laughs> unwrapping my taco and taking a bite of it. We are eating hot chili tacos in front of silence. You can hear both of us chewing. It's absolute chaos. The dad walks up, grabs a taco. There's a hundred of them. We have so many to spare. He's eating over us, just like standing. Doesn't sit. Stands right next to the okay. table. Crunches, mouthful. He just looks at me and he goes, do you want to see my studio? And I was what? Like, I have never what? wanted to see anything less in my entire life. Okay, that's good. Yeah, now we're now it we're starting to like. It was that I decided this date was completely over. Or yeah, else good. I was going to be killed, one hundred percent. I am now just like collecting the tacos because I paid for them. I walk out with boxes of tacos in my purse. I look back and I was like, "Thank you for this experience. You will never hear from me again." That is the weird. But but wait a second. So he didn't bring his wallet. He didn't even have a car of his own. He just wanted a ride and someone to pay for a bunch of tacos. He was just looking for a free meal. You know, you know all the all the times you hear on like r slash Tinder about people just trying to get free meals and stuff. This is that, but on like absolute crack. Oh my god. Well, laddies, lasses, and lasses, I do hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed having you here. And you learned something about the world of dating, or what not to do. At least, absolutely amazing. Have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you in the very near future. Take care. Mwah.